Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Hi guys, we're back to more Tales of Assyria. Before we do anything, we have an expedition that came back. Hold on, let me make sure that that's capturing everything. Yep, yep, we're good. Oh, and we got a win-win-win! That was the first win-win-win we've gotten. Um, I don't know if any of those... Yes, we have to... We have to keep doing it until we get every single item from this area, but that was pretty awesome. Let's see here. We have, so I just ran up there to get a save point, but we have to do all these optional dialogue boxes here. Man, Artorius and Anominot. Neither one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Lafayette hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Rookuro is pretty freaking cool. All right, let's talk to Aizen. A demon, a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. You've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of the Nominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Nominat really is an Imperium? You got me, but I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now. So, we can't let anything happen to Eleanor. Oh man, I cannot wait to hear that dialogue box be between Bien Fu and Eleanor here. I'll look after Madame Eleanor. You know, I just remembered. After Miss Mogilu and I made our pact, she couldn't stop sneezing and sniffling for months. That happened right when spring was starting. <laughs> Allergies. All right, let's go this way because no, we already went that way. Okay, we, it looks like we just have to go up the stairs now because we've gotten every single dialogue box in this area. So after I grab this item, we'll head on up. Just a peek. Uh, okay, I am glad I went in here. Okay, I'm pretty glad I went in here. We've been in here, but those souls do... It looks like they reset every time you start up your game, which is not bad, at least on the PC version. So let's head up here and through these doors. I'm not going to save. All we did was listen to those dialogues. If I die, we can skip them. Why is there another save point? Um, um, there's an item. Why is there no music? This is kind of... Oh, okay, those are like crystals coming out of the rocks. For a second I thought the textures were broken on the game. Cool. Alright. Is this a cutscene? Hey, don't overwork yourself. 
I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive thanks to you. I just... I didn't want to see you die. That's why I... Why I did that. To save you. I'm sorry too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway... It's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Ahaha! Ah but an object misused is one thing. A person misused is quite another. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. You know Minot's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive! Cost me ten gold! I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever. Fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with Inominot. Oh. Is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Inominot? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent for me salts down in Southgand. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Cool beans. All right. We'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. Are we going to rest inside those ruins? Because I see an optional boss. So I'm going to save here. Oh, but I don't have the rest of the party. And I don't think I can beat an optional boss alone. Right? Yeah. Cannot beat an optional boss alone. So we will return to that. Alright, so where am I supposed to go? Oh. Through here. And look, the items have already respawned. Oh! Hell yes. Love it. Love it. I really, I am gonna have to replay this game completely and get all those cat's chests that I looked over and missed.
And, oh, Eleanor was over here. Yep, there she is. All right. Another cutscene. Of all the things, a damned demon watching over me. How could I have let this happen? I'm such a disgrace. To atone for this grave sin. This is all I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. It's Melchior's communication art. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find. My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified, and not to be shared with even the Legates. Protect the Malik and bring him to the capital, then? With the utmost secrecy. Your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Malik may interfere. This Malik may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Moloch could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. anything like that again pain is pain is scary right i'm all right no more running away i'm lafisen it's good to finally meet you properly eleanor y yeah likewise don't worry if you try running you won't get far once i've eaten your arms and legs i merely need you alive to act as his vessel nothing more that won't be necessary I swore an oath before our duel. An oath grants power in exchange for a certain constraint. Mine was, if I lose, I will obey my opponent. Once put in motion, an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it. I will keep my promise to you because I must. Hmm. An oath, is it? In that case, I have a question for you. 
What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? To wipe out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is the Nominat going to wander the land, slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. And Nominat's ritual is kept confidential even within the Abbey. All I know is that it involves Melchior. Then it looks like the only way we'll figure out Inominat's true nature is by deciphering Lafayette's book. We'll have to track down Magilu's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to East Sultan Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village. Something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hard to argue with that. I've never seen a Moloch quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafayette, even if it brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me... I know. Like I said, I can't betray you. Listen, Lafayette. If she makes any strange moves, we want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath-bound to her promise. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep. An oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, boy. If you say so. She's right. Of course that goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. Well, I won't deny it. Okay, cool beans. Ooh. Why are we getting so many... Okay, but we have an optional cutscene here. Hmm. What is it, Lafayette? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at best. They lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. I totally feel you. Sounds like you've both been through hard times. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy, and guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into <laughs> Lapisat's head, you two. They're just facts. If you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Yes, ma'am. Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I've the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Magilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Great! I'm not like that, though. Huh? Yes. Some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do. And I, for one, despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate this honesty, Eleanor. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> All right. I do absolutely adore the the di Ooh, dialogue between um, Rokuro and Aizen. My gosh, my brain. Holy shit. Um, I think they have really nice dialogue together. And so... I was watching a video on YouTube. No, sp it, it didn't have any spoilers about this game, but it, oh, that that kind of dropped the frame rates a little bit. Um, but it did. Ooh, include 
How do I get to that mini boss? Because that's what we're going to do. Okay. It did include how to get different dialogue to appear. And what you have to do is... Shit, I think I might, might need a flag to do this. Yeah, I think... I think I might need a flag to be able to do this. Because that's how it was in another one. Pretty sure. You want me in? Fine by me. See, this is how you can get some extra dialogue. At your command, I'm ready. Oh, can't a witch get a little downtime? You want me in? Watch, and I'll show you my Rangetsu style. Fine, fine. I'll join your little combat crew. Oh my gosh! If I'm in this, I'm in this 100%. Oh, miss me that much, did ya? Oh no, no, it's not the flag. That's an optional thing. Um, it still has me as player one with um, Mogilu. But for the ending screen, it depends on who is in this screen. Scary, but okay. So I want these four in the fighting screen. And we're gonna fight this guy. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit, shit. Okay, there's one more thing I forgot to do. Is... Strategy. How do I change him from... Because currently I'm in auto, and I do not want to be in auto. There we go, control type is auto. How do I change that? How do I... How do I change that? Oh, auto, on and off. No, that's not what I want to do. How do I change the auto? Come on. Control mo bow le mode left button. There we go. Awesome. I don't know why- oh my god, this is loud. I don't know why I wasn't trying to play this game with multiple characters before, and I was just doing Velvet, because apparently there are a bunch of fun, unique things about playing as the different characters here. I'll probably- Hey, is everyone alright? See, I didn't get one of those optional ending screens here, but... I still... I still want to be able to experience them at the at the least be able to play with a couple of the characters just for even if it's just for a little bit just so I'm able to do it um, that's important hold on just one hot second and I'm back sorry about that all right let's see are those harpies those are totally harpies, aren't they? <gasps> oh, oh, another hold right. Oh, this is this is specific to Rokuro right now. Hold on, I need to turn this down because this is screaming in my ear here. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. I'll try to speak a little bit over this, but this is a tutorial specific for Rokuro's fighting style. Oh my goodness, this is very freaking cool. So, hold right trigger with three or more souls while standing by or during combo to activate. As an additional effect, the combo following this cannot be guarded against. Ooh. Rokuro will enter a defensive stance with which he will block the next enemy attack and counter with vengeful punishment. This move can also be performed by pressing right trigger immediately after blocking attack. Oh my gosh, well we gotta try it. Not sure if I'm doing this right. I'm I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. This doesn't seem right. Okay, so... Oh, 
There we go. I have to actually block an attack with it. Gotcha. <laughs> I was expecting him to attack, but that is actually very cool. It is a pet peeve of mine. Win. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? Anyway, um when games are in English translate over or even anime, and then they have those fighting um moves and they translate it to English that they say, so like you have wronged me, you know, it's, it always sounds a little odd to me, because it's not something you would hear in, in English, ever. <laughs> oh, come on. You have to really time that. Ooh! So am I not allowed to block when I am? Oh no, I am. Well, that about does it. Magu is very freaking cool. And our expedition returns. So is it going to be a win-win-win? Win loses. Okay. And we didn't get any of. Th oh, we did! We got something new. But we're still missing one material. And, just for fun, let's try Aizen now. The fuck? Oh, it's a witch! Oh, it is a witch cat thing. It's a pink. Witch cat on a broomstick. That is so cute. Okay, now we get the Aizen's, Aizen's tutorial. So while an enemy is either stunned or down, hold right trigger with three or more souls while standing by or during a combo. Even though I don't think you could do it with Rokuro during a combo. Aizen takes the air and blasts his foes with dragon-like fire. That is Cool. Setting up this ability can be difficult, but it devastates a wide area. Aizen's current target doesn't have to be stunned or down as long as an enemy is within range for it. Okay. When an enemy- so do- but it said they don't have to be down. Why are they just standing there? What? <laughs> I'm holding, I'm holding right trigger. So I need to bring them down first. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, how do I- okay. Um... There we go, there we go! Okay. There we go! Okay, holy shit. <laughs> oh, hold on, this person's targeting- oh, oh goodness. These are very, very cute designs. I think I said this last time, but I absolutely adore how I need to be healed. I absolutely adore how each enemy is, um... Weakness is... Strength? So... Each enemy is not a recolor so far that I've seen. Oh, all of them. Well, X has two. 
They're they're not recolors. They're their own models, which is very cool. Thank you for healing me. Alright, so who else haven't we tried yet? I don't really want to try Luffy set. <laughs> that sounds like a bad that sounds like a bad time. I'm here. Let's do this together. That sounds like a really bad time. I'm going to try it eventually, but just not right now. <laughs> Alright, let's try Eleanor. Break soul. Aerial strike. Hold right trigger with three or more souls while standing by or during a combo to activate. Eleanor launches her target high in the air, creating an opportunity for a combo. Break souls cannot be guarded against, so this ability also functions as a guard break. Oh, cool. I like how that one doesn't take a lot of setup to use. You literally just use it. Oh. I'm very confused on how you choose where she spins it. Cool beans. I like it. I like hers. I actually really, really like hers. And her fighting style seems pretty easy, although sometimes she attacks behind her, at least in one of the moves in the X button category that I have right now. I felt like there was one move where she attacks backwards, which... I know if you get really good at video games, you can get good at figuring that... Ah, I thought that was part of the scenery. This stone, it's... It's just a rock. Take it if you want. I think it's really rare. The way it sparkles. I think it might even be bright steel. Bright steel? Never heard of it. Yeah, it's actually a rare metal used to forge weapons and stuff. You don't find it just anywhere. If there's bright steel here, that means we must be in either Endgand or Islegand. Both are a long ways off from Midgand. I doubt the Abbey has many people stationed out here. That's our pirate! Arr! Here there be treasures shiny and sentries few! At the very least, this could mean we'll be left alone for a while. Nice find, Luffy said. Thanks! Now wash your hands. Okay. Uh, with what? The only way to learn where we are is to find someone to ask, I guess. Okay, we got an optional cutscene. Hmm. What's eating you, Luffy said? If people say you can't judge women at face value, does that mean you can with men? Sure. Men are simple creatures. Men are simple. Oh! You talk like you're an expert in all things masculine. But you can only speak for your own family. As if you're one to judge. And I'm sure you've charmed a magnificent lord to be your lover. Sure. What does he look like? Is he tall? None of your business. Don't tell me. He was always on the other side of a swinging door, so you only saw his feet. <laughs> I see. What a lovely crush that must be. I read that story. It was a book called... The Legs of a Man. Oh? I've never heard of it. I've read it too. It's a sad, bittersweet tale. But I enjoyed it quite a lot. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it. Maybe when I have some free time after killing Artorias. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know if men could be judged at face value. One more. It's not often you find bright steel above ground. I hear it's a lot of trouble to unearth, even in the regions it's normally found. Yeah. Mining for minerals takes a lot of specialized techniques and experience on the part of the prospector. They examine the soil, the water, the plants, and so on, where the same mineral was found before. Then search similar environments for the next big find. Sure, but it's not like they succeed every time. It's all a big gamble. Isn't there a simpler way? 
I read in a book once that you can use a pendulum to find water and metals underground. It's called dousing. What's dousing? You hang the pendulum so it's facing the ground. Then you chant the magic word, magic Kazam, and wait to be amazed. The little bit of ore on its tip will sniff out buried treasure in underground lakes like a bloodhound on a prickle boar. You don't seriously believe this. Eh, it's just like fortune telling. You win some, you lose some. That's why they call it prospecting. So, if pendulums are used for fortune telling, why the hell is Zavid running around using them as weapons? He uses wind to control its trajectory. I think it's easier for him to manipulate pendulums in a fight than something like a whip or a rope. Oh, that makes sense now. That seems pretty clever. He's probably also doing it to make himself stronger, too. Malakim broadly fall into four elemental types. Earth, water, wind, and fire. Each strong or weak against the others. Wind beats Earth. Savid is a wind Malak. So when he obtains Earth element minerals, his own strength is boosted. I never realized Malakim could be so calculating. Then if pendulums react to a Malak's powers, maybe they can actually do this dousing stuff like Magilu says. Yeah. It's worth taking that thing seriously. Zavid might like to joke around, but when it comes to fighting, he knows full well just what he's doing. He puts an awful lot of thought into that weapon of his, if you ask me. You don't? I spare all my thoughts for my sweetheart. Yeah, right. You just like to cause trouble without putting much thought into anything. That sounds like Magi Lu as of so far. All right, let's fight this guy. Who are we? Oh, we're Eleanor. Let's try. <laughs> oh, have we? We haven't done Magilu's special attack yet. Her tutorial, I don't think, at least. Oh, maybe we have, because I know I've fought as her before, but I didn't know we had her tutorial yet. Well, what is her? What? What did that do? Oh. Oh, what did that do? Did that did that just take everyone's current spells out? Look at that. I don't know what that's exactly doing. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking cute. Holy shit. was angry at it. Hold on. You can read a guardian's heart? Um yeah, sort of. That was a new, um, that was a new dialogue box between them. All right, let's try Lafayette. set. Let's make sure our team is really good. That is in right now, so let's take out. Right, I'm in. You want me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shit the fuck. <laughs> okay, good, tutorial. Divine, divide, di divide pain. I read that as divine plan in my head, though. Um, hold right trigger, blah, blah, blah. Halves all damage taken for five seconds. On just you? After which HP will be restored for all. After which HP will... <gasps> what? Okay, hold... <sighs> Oh, I can't use that right now. Everyone's full health. Come on. That is so tight, though. It's over now. Alright. Oh, my. Okay. I saw Aizen re relieve health, but I'm not sure about anyone else. That is a really cool special that Luffy Set has, but we're not ne we're never gonna play as him again, never again. <laughs> All right, let's. How do I? Um. Um. 
Oh, come on. Oh, oh, what is... Oh, my controller's fucking out. Hold on. This is a brand new freaking controller. Better not freak out on me. For some reason, it's not wanting to go down. Do you see? Is it just pressing up at all times? Yeah, it's pressing- oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh... I am currently having technical difficulties. But we are almost at, I think, 45 minutes. I think we're at like 40 minutes. So anyways, I'm going to end this here and I'm going to fix this controller that I've only just gotten like less than a month ago. This is ridiculous. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next part. I'll probably be recording later tonight if I fix this. Bye bye Oh my lordy lord. Alright guys, so I fixed my... Again? A Never mind. I was letting you guys know that I fixed it. But apparently, I didn't. Apparently, taking this shit apart and just like blowing dust into it. Okay, I, I really... I will buy another shit controller from Xbox or from Microsoft tomorrow but I just really the stores are closed can I just play the stores are closed I am <sighs> all right I fixed it Let's play some more, and one more thing, I forgot to save. So when my controller broke, instead of going back and saving, I I just fucking quit it. Like a fucking idiot. Take a look at this. And I didn't even get win 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 this time. Scout ship. Um, <clears throat> I'm not very happy right now, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to skip ahead because I really want to play more of this game, but I'm not going to have you guys sit through the entire fucking thing again. Actually, what if I just skip all the enemies? Won't even skip ahead. I'll just skip the enemies. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. See, I'm just going to skip ahead. I'm going to skip the cutscenes. I don't give a shit. Um, we watch the cutscenes, so that's why I don't give a shit. I actually do like the cutscenes here, but I am just not very stoked that a controller I bought a month ago. I know it was a month ago because a month ago I recorded the first Metal Gear Solid playthrough and I bought a controller to play that game. So, and it was this shitty ass Microsoft one, lightweight, oh it's a good controller. The guy at the store was just like, oh yeah, you have tiny hands so you need this controller. It's not the small controller, but he's like, oh yeah, you know, tiny hands, you need it. I mean, I know I have tiny hands, but... Well, I mean, it is a mi it is made by Microsoft. It's not a knockoff controller, <clears throat> which makes it even more ridiculous that it last lasted um, a month, pretty much on the dot a month. Um, especially since I'm not playing like Call of Duty every day or anything like that. I don't do that. I play lightweight games with minimal, you know, action going on. So I don't get why. That controller, this controller, is broken after a month. That's ridiculous. This is new. Ah! 
Are you guys with the sword breaker? The what? Get away from me. I like that guy's leather. Oh. I'm sorry, all right? Am I on auto? I'm on auto, aren't I? There we go. Oh, I hate it when I'm down to one soul. I'm gonna try to be a little bit happier. Despite the fact that my controller's broken. And I'm gonna go have to go over to Target or something tomorrow, because it's my weekend and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my weekend without a controller. Oh my god, will this guy die already? But yeah, so I went I went on the interwebs to figure out ooh, how to fix this. What? My sword. Please, mighty demon, I beg you. I'll do anything. Just spare me. I only wanted to ask you something. You don't have to worry. This woman here is an exorcist. Huh? Right. I'm Eleanor, a Praetor exorcist. Please, remain calm and hear our questions. You do look like an exorcist, but what are you doing with ruffians like these? Top secret Abbey business. That's all I can say. Now, can you tell us where we are? And are there any ports nearby? You don't know? You're on Cadmix Island, an Isle Gate. The port is at the other end of that ravine. I'll send a Sylph Jade, Levon Altia. Thanks. One more question. Who's this sword breaker? Ah, he's a demon. Causes lots of trouble around these parts. He only attacks sword fighters, and he breaks their blades. He's even taken down a number of Praetors. Hence the name Swordbreaker. He wields a fine sword, clearly forged in a foreign land. I tried to find his lair to steal the weapon for myself, but that's when I was attacked. A foreign sword? I'd be careful if I were you. If he spots that sword on your back, <laughs> you'll be in a world of trouble. Sounds like a real nasty fellow. Well, he tries to pull anything on this demon, and he's in for one munchy, crunchy surprise. <laughs> you folks are all crazy. Either way, I'd say this is a blessing in disguise for you. You're lucky to still be alive. Take this chance to abandon your life of crime. Here's an optional cutscene. Um. Can you read any of this old writing? No. I've studied many languages, but I've never seen script like this before. Can you read it, Eleanor? I've never come across this language either. Where did you find a rare tome like this? Um. Well. It was a lucky find at the capital. What can I say? The kid loves to read. I was surprised to see how many Malakim like to read. Genfu does a lot of reading too. I didn't know that. It's true. I'm not sure what he's been reading though. Did someone call for me? Bienfu, do you like to read too? Oh yes. Books are a treasure trove of knowledge. But I'm a greater Malakim, so the literature I enjoy might be a bit above your level, Luffy said. How to talk a human female into becoming your vessel and physically escalating with cuties. Oh. <laughs> Bien? This 
drastically escalating. What does that mean? You, you really don't, don't need to know. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm confiscating all of these. And I have some questions. Bien Fu, you better be ready for a thorough interrogation. Bien! And one more. A Yaksha, a spirit of war. Yeah, a demon that lives for combat. But this sword breaker has cut down exorcists with its foreign blade. Aren't you scared? Of dying, you mean? Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying. It's more that I'm afraid of not being alive. Huh? Fighting is my life. It's all I want to do. So I fight. That's what living means to me. Ah. <sighs> Living only to kill. A demon is always going to be a demon. Well, if you're going to be blunt. <laughs> okay, cool. motherfucker no shit cock no okay so when I was reading online about how to fix this issue I'm not gonna be able to play am I I am not gonna be able to play I might as well just tack this on to the last episode and then just make it one big episode and just have the last 10 minutes me screaming about getting a controller that literally lasts me. Oh, uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, yes. So I uninstalled all my drivers, reinstalled it, didn't work. Um, I cleaned it out with some spray. That worked, and then it didn't work, and that was the beginning of this episode. And it seems like fucking just punching the shit out of it and jamming it all over the place that helps but when I was looking online apparently this is a very common problem not specifically specifically spe specifically with this controller but with all Microsoft controllers is the s what did he call it the um um there's something inside it that isn't very good at sensing. There's a save point so we can save before the uh, optional boss battle. But it's not very good at sensing um, movement and it breaks easily. Um, cleaning it helps sometimes. I'm not very happy about it. But since Motion Joy doesn't really work anymore, I have to use this instead of. PS3 controller, which I've been using a PS3 controller um, when gaming on my Mac. Yes, I gamed on my Mac. A little bit. What would work? Um, lots of wine skin. But anyways, I've been using that, you know, forever. So it was... I saved, didn't I? I did save, didn't I? I saved. But that was the optional boss, wasn't it? Yep, that was it. Um What was I even saying? Shit. Anyways, let's fight this boss. We'll make this one big massive episode because after this I don't know how much longer I can go punching this controller to death at all times. Did I miss? No, I got it. Oh, tight as fuck. That wasn't a new one, but I'm glad I got the boss in there. I love harpies. Oh my god. 
They are my favorite mythological creature. That's probably why I like God of War so much. <laughs> Although the harpies in there are so gross, they have like tits that hang down to their tummies. Okay, hold on. What is your weakness? Ground type? Ground type? Ground type. Oh. Well, hold on. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, no, I'm ending this after this. I'm not going to be doing this all night. I'm getting a controller tomorrow. Um, it is my weekend, because um, I get Thursdays and Fridays off, so it is my weekend. So I'm not going to be spending the last day of my weekend unable to play my video games. Um, just because... This fucking controller broke. What? Wait, what? Wait, which one was that? That was, um, X. Okay. I am without a doubt gonna be playing video games this weekend and I'm not gonna be not playing video games just because my controller broke. I'm getting a new controller tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Oh my god, I cannot even deal with this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. God damn it, Microsoft. But this boss seems pretty gosh darn easy, and that's nice. And it's beautifully designed. That's nice. I love birds. Birds are my favorite animal. And this one looks like an Egyptian bird god of some sort. Hella tight. I love the gold. It's all cool. What is even go- oh. It switched automatically because it's broken again, didn't it? It did. <laughs> it switched. It, so if you press up or down during a battle, it switches characters out for you. And guess what I didn't do? But guess what the controller did on its own? Motherfucker. Oh my god. I wanted to play video games for a couple more hours, too. And guess what I can't do now? Oh my... Oh, come on. I really just want to... I just want to beat the boss and go save. And then I'll stop. I promise. Oh my god. I might just have to keep it on auto and hope for my team to finish it off. I might have to do that. I might have to put it on auto and hope that my team can do it. Yep. All right. Because it's it's broken. It's one hundred percent broken. Okay. They did it. That was tougher than I would have liked. Congratulations. They beat it. I didn't beat that boss. The auto beat that boss, and I couldn't play because my controller's broken. And I'm gonna go save, and I'm gonna say rest in peace to this controller, especially since I've been beating it up for the past 10 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna put this controller um, in the trash can, and I am going to get a new one 10 a.m. tomorrow, because I tried fixing this, and I'm not going to try fixing this bullshit again. I'm just going to buy another one. Um, thanks, Microsoft, because I think that was your plan this- I think that was your plan this entire time. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll play some more of this game tomorrow if I go to the store and get a controller, which I'm pretty sure I will be. Um, I'm sorry I'm a little pissed off, but I swear it's all in good fun. Um, thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.